Well, we take stock of what happened over the past months and we understand what has failed so far and we make it very clear. The reason why we put the word holistic in the title is precisely because we wanted the report to cover everything. The report covers not only short term, immediate term, but also long term ideas because we want to, to, to plan out the strategy of the European Parliament in, in mapping out the position on, on migration on the different issues. And we would like this report to send a warning signal to members states, encourage the Commission on the part that it has already embarked on, but prodding it into doing more where it has not done enough so far. Are there serious security concerns on behalf of the citizens? Uh, how do you address it in medium and long term? Well, we make it very clear that, for example, we say that integration is a two-way process. We also say that if we want to preserve the fundamental principles such as freedom of movement and the essence upon which Schengen is built, that we need better effective management of the external borders. We also identify or recognize the fact that not all member states are doing that properly. And uh, the, the, in fact, the European Commission um, has instituted a number of infringement proceedings against its member states and therefore we would like the Commission to, to, to make sure that the common European asylum key is implemented correctly in order to preserve essentially the freedoms that we enjoy. Our guarding borders, it also are, it's necessary to have funds and it was always, it always has been a very weak point. So what Europe can do to, are to give funds, to transfer funds, to, uh, to help these people to ensure that borders are secure? Yes, in fact, what we have done also is identified where the funds are going in terms of third country, fun third country funding. We have also said that we need better access and transparency in the way, for example, the asylum and migration funds are, are managed. But at the same time, yes, we need to see where the weaknesses are at the external border and identify and target funding um, towards those problems. In fact, my political group in the European Parliament within the Civil Liberties Committee is always of the opinion that we need to focus more on where the funds are not being well spent, particularly, yes, in effective border management. Or the last question, uh, what do you think now it looks like Schengen is a victim of this situation? Uh, what would you like to say to uh, advocate Schengen for citizens? Because after all these incidents, very uh, dangerous in incidents, there are more and more citizens who doubt that Schengen is an effective system. Well, Schengen means that you remove the internal borders while at the same time you strengthen the external borders. As soon as citizens feel secure enough that the external borders are being managed properly, then they will not doubt Schengen. I'm a strong believer in the Schengen system because I am from Malta and for my citizens it is extremely important to be given the freedom to travel as they have been given so far, to be given the freedom to move across borders without the shackles that they had in the past. I hope that this will continue to be the case. Thank you, Mrs. Metzler. Thank you very much.